And in this season, the the rapid advancement and fervor to about, you know, learn about God. And then you just taking that and just like, boom, I'm get on fire and just learning. And me waking up in the middle of the night like, yo, you still at it? You still read? Okay. Go to sleep, wake up. Oh, you still praying? Okay. And it's just, it's just, it's amazing to see, like, you can see like this torch that is burning to know more and to to find more about God. It's just like, you know, champion it and stand on any mountaintop and just like, yo, this is what I know about God. And this is where I'm at with it. And this is, but it's always sticking close to the process and yeah. remembering when I didn't know and remembering when I didn't have a clue and always wanting to be, you know, relatable to that person um, and, and being as patient with that person as people were with me. It's like so often I feel like we try to give our kids or somebody we helping the answer. Like when we were uh, in school and they had the answers in the back of the book. The answers in the back of the book is only good to a certain extent. Now you can put it on your paper and you can get a good grade, but as soon as somebody asks you to show your work, you're gonna fall flat on your face. And that's what happens when you just try to give somebody your answer of something. That's what this whole thing is. Like, that's what this whole thing is. I can be asked these questions and I can just give the answer. But what's more important to me is that I explain the process that I that I went through uh, to get the answer. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's much, much more helpful than just telling somebody, do this or don't do that. The word that has come to me is uh, stewardship. And at first I was like real confused because I was like, hey, look, God, now listen, I'm paying my tithes, man. Like, <laughs> I'm paying my tithes. We building wealth. You know, we live below our means. We give uh, where we, you know what I'm saying, where we can and where we see fit, you know, intentionally. Like, what else is it that you're trying to get me uh, to steward financially? And the more and more I like, you know, looked it up and pressed into it, it's, it, was, it wasn't about finances at all. It was about my gifts and my talents. Mm -hmm. And I just went on this journey of realizing that it's not like it's not like I didn't know this before, but it's just this next level of understanding that I do not belong to me. I don't belong to me. My gifts and my talents, although they were given to me, mm -hmm. they don't belong to me. Um, I serve a very strategic and intentional God, and He don't just be out here doing stuff for the sake of doing it. Right. And so I feel like for a large part of my life, uh, some of my identity has rested in my gifts and my talents. Mm. It's, you know, like, because I can do this, uh, I am this person, mm -hmm. you know, because this is a knack for me. I, you know, am this or I'm that. Mm -hmm. um, and what has come to me is because you have a gift and a talent, you are not special. But because you are special, you received a gift and a talent. 